Hey everybody, Rodaman here. Thanks for tuning in to episode 28 of Mount and Blade 2 Bandalode, a Let's Play tutorial series with these scenario settings all agreed upon by voting at the start of the series. So to recap what's going on, we had just grabbed Thractatory Castle from the Azurai. And before I go any further, I renamed two of my party members. The mod that I rely upon to rename party members, the detailed character creation mod, was updated for 1.4.3. So now we have Said the Falcon renamed to Val, and we had Noggind renamed to Trustin. I hope this does not confuse you too much. Uh, so what I'm going to do is immediately attempt to form a peace agreement with the Asurai, as I've done in the past. Uh, so first things first, managing the garrison, I am going to ditch a significant portion of my troops into the garrison here. I think I'll keep, um, I'll keep some tier 2 troops with me. Because they could level up. Uh, and then I'll keep my Banner Knights. I still have enough prisoner capacity for all of my prisoners. And let's, before we go any further, um, make sure that we manage the castles correctly. So this one already is queued up. I'm going to drop in a little bit extra money. Uh, so that they have more in reserves. And now with a much smaller party, we should be very quickly able to... Uh, catch up to Azurai here. Peace. They don't even ask for anything. They want peace without me even uh, paying for it. That works for me. So next up, I'm going to pop on over to all of my owned territories to make sure that their construction queues make sense. Oh, and... Alright, so we have the Toll Collector... After the Toll Collector, let's do Bonus Militia, Bonus Militia Training. We also have enough influence after that last fight to enact a policy. So I'm going to propose Sacred Majesty, which increases my influence significantly. And non-ruler clans lose influence. Now this would not be a popular thing for... Um, not be a popular policy if I had vassals, but I don't have vassals, so they're not going to care. And now my influence is expected change plus four. And that's going to be very helpful for me to be able to afford to have large armies or to wield political might. That kind of thing. Alright. Now that we're in Legata, uh, another thing I'm going to need to do is to buy some horses. So I'm going to buy these horses here um, because, of course, we've ditched a significant portion of our troops and I don't have the carry weight. And let's go ahead and sell off some of our excess. Oh, that's some nice horse armor. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to consider... Buying some really nice things now that we've... Yes, so like a step recurve bow. I'm going to buy this. Which will allow me to sell all of my remaining stuff to Legata, my, my town. So this cracked recurve bow. Trustin, you can use it. Yes, you can. Trustin is likely to become his own party captain... So, investing in him uh, is a investment in the future. Alright, selling off some of the weapons. I don't need so many weapons. And then some of the cheaper weapons at the bottom of the, uh, bottom of the barrel here, I'm going to sell off as well. Just to cover cost. So, done. I realize I'm still over capacity. Ransing me off the prisoners. And... Uh, let's pop on over to Herdogia Castle. I guess I didn't manage the town there. Herdogia Castle, you need some more money. Let's drop some more money in. So they have Toll Collector queued up. 
and then gardens, and after gardens, granary. I'm just going to make sure that this food problem sorts itself out. I think part of the food problem is that the towns around it got raided, um, but, you know, given time, it will, it will recover. Ligita, did I manage you? No. Uh, so we have forums. After forums, we'll do marketplace, then aqueducts. Plenty of money in the reserves, so I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, so next up, let's go find Finnegan. My maybe future husband. He was last seen at Rote. Okay, and the castle I captured is mine because I don't have vassals that would want it. One of the advantages of being, well, the only authority in my own kingdom. It's kind of lonely. Not gonna lie. Whoa, Rote, you are so dead. Uh, Kaladog is... Well, if we take a look here, Kaladog has really been capturing a ton of what was previously Southern Empire territory. They're gonna be the next behemoth, I think. Um, okay, so he's already over at Maranath. Wow, you went from Rote to Maranath in a day. That's pretty fast. Uh... Onika Castle is under siege. Is that close to me? Uh, sort of. It's down there. I think that's the Southern Empire trying to fight back. Good luck, man. Oh, and uh, Ostacorcus Castle under siege as well. I'm mostly just concerned about what happens in my immediate vicinity, however. Okay, almost fully healed up. And... Fendigan, you were last seen about a day ago around Marinath. Okay. Gives us some sort of leads. Sell the lame horse. Uh, we still are above capacity, so I bought a bunch of mules to cover the, the carry weight. That will speed us up. And I'm looking out here for Finnegan. He's not in the castle, as far as I could tell. No, he's not in the castle. Um, so he's got to be somewhere around here. Trying to recruit. Oh, uh, there's Luchin, his father. Not fully helpful. Luchin, where's your son? So Luchin's definitely recruiting around the area. Because uh, their numbers were depleted. Probably from war. I mean, how else do you lose, like, a hundred troops? Andros the Carpenter. Here, let me hold left alt. Yep, not finding you, man. Where, where'd you go, Finnegan? Let's check in Sianion. Another thing I could do with my money that I'm making. Um, eventually, a lot of the surplus will go to party wages. Once uh, Noggined, or now renamed Trustin will have a, a large force of, um, well, a large force. Uh, but until that happens, uh, what I should be doing is making sure that, uh, oh, wow, already a war bow better than my, my current. That's okay. It's not, it's not so significantly better that I would immediately buy it. But what I should be doing is maybe investing in my own armor. Um, going from town to town to look at, hey, you know, what is, what do you got for sale? What do you got for me to buy? Like these rough tide bracers are a little bit better, but for 15K, they're not worth it. Um, but trying to make myself as, as armored and tough as possible. Oh, but actually looking at Sianion, uh, let's go back to that. We had a bunch of, uh, yeah, a bunch of unwanted clothing. Wow, that's a significant price tag for the junk I had. 
All right, Finnegan, you're seen around Marinath. I must just be walking right past you. As far as I could tell, you're not in the castle. Let's see if there's uh, anything to be bought here. Now, every time they significantly patch up the game, they add some new stuff in. Um, ooh, those are nice. Those I will buy. Huge price tag, but uh, they they look cool. And I would say next up, if possible, ditch my stupid helmet. Uh, so my pauldrons that I had on uh, will hand me down. Am I taller than my... Yeah, I'm significantly taller than my own brother. Um, and we'll just keep handing down this stuff to... Oh. There, uh, the neck guard is technically just a little bit better. Okay. And that would be it. Everybody else has better armor. Cool. Done. Trade. And ditch that. Now, of course, I could have the guys that are on Trade Caravan um, requiring you know, the armor that I'm selling, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. All right, Lucian, where is your son? For real. The game keeps telling me your son is here. All right, so Rote was indeed captured. Uh, we saw the raid parties. That in no way surprises me. That was a significantly large raid party for a not-so-well-defended uh, city. I'm not really in a position to be able to immediately ride up on Rote and capture it because um, Batania is very, very, very well reinforced. In fact, let's look at the balance of power here. Just take a second. Oh, actually, they're not as... I mean, they're it's bad. Obviously, they're way, way, way stronger, but it's not as bad as I thought it was. A lot of the... A lot of the uh, kingdoms... I think with all the recent war that's been going on, have depleted their forces pretty significantly. Because some of them were up in the like 15,000 range and now no one is. Doing some additional shopping. I'm still hoping to find uh, some good weaponry. <laughs> I can't afford this, but I'm curious what it looks like. Wow. It's crazy that that armor right there is so expensive. It just looks like a kilt. But it's a kilt over plated leather, so I, I guess that makes sense. Okay. Well, there's nothing, nothing to do here. All right, Finnegan. I uh, I'm gonna give up on our uh, on our love here. If you don't show up to me, you seem to be invisible, and I am patrolling the area that the game says you're in. So I, I don't know. There's there's other there's places to be and people to kill. Um, so I I kind of need you to show up here, friend. Here, I'll, I'll, uh, just for the sake of it, kill some looters. Troops! Sergeant's in charge! Also gives me an ability to test drive the new, uh, boat. Because this is a significantly, well, somewhat significantly better bow than I previously had. At least for accuracy. Which is a funny thing to say when my first shot misses way wide and now that I'm starting to be able to afford um, tier 6 armor my ability to tank especially during castle sieges will go up significantly 
It's one of the things that, that when you're uh, doing arena fights early on and you you run into those nobles that have like full tier 6 armor, they're basically invulnerable in the arena. Uh, that is, I am becoming that. This was also a, uh, a little opportunity for... It looks like the sword that I have is also longer, which is useful. Um, gives me the opportunity to level up some of my uh, lower tier troops. Oh, we should be done with this in just a second. Alright. Uh, one got wounded. A spearman, but uh, it was worth it. Pull off some steam and murder some uh, lowly looters. Alright, you're not Finnegan? I don't see any Finnegan here. I'll double check Maranath because it keeps saying that he's at Maranath, but there's no Finnegan in this castle. Let's go to the Lord's Hall just to make sure. I mean, he sh he would normally need to show up. No, nope, Radin, Corrin. All right, yep, you're not in here. Hello and goodbye. Oh, Romeo, oh, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? Come on now. Says he's still here. I love it. Such bad intel. Okay, well... Let's get rid of some of the looter stuff that we've got, that we just picked up. I'll keep the weapons because I can always, uh, I can always flip them for, uh, for materials when I rest for smithy. In fact, that's what I'm going to do. You know what? I'm sitting here. I, until, until he either shows up. I might as well work on my smithing, because I feel like I'm chasing my tail. It's one of those, like, you know, I'm zigging and he's zagging. Because it says he's still here. And the one of the advantages of waiting around is, yeah, he might show up. And also, in the time that I'm just waiting here, I can level up my, um, my smithing skill. So that I don't have to necessarily buy the weapons I'm looking for. I'll just make them. Um, the smithing just went up to... Up a little bit. And Bash, I'm going to use you to refine my, my charcoals. But also, um, the towns that I've invested in will get their upgrades more quickly as I'm just passing time. All right, Britannia just declared war on Kazate. That's interesting. Um, doesn't sort of surprise me as Britannia's in a position of, of strength right now. As they are... Uh, oh, there's Kaladog, speaking of which. As they are... Finnegan still says he's here. Are you kidding me? Yep, that was a sigh. Alright, Neil Corcus is under siege. And Fenigan's nowhere to be found. Maybe I'll just come back later. I'm gonna I'm you know, if if I can't find him really, 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 really soon because I'm losing patience. Um I will work on Trustin's. I'll work on uh, Trustin's army. Alright, so you say you're near. Let's give it a, a quick look. Whoa. Oh, never mind, I misread. Well, that's a lot of looters. Because Batania just declared war again. 
So if, if uh, somehow I've been missing him and he's recruiting troops around here, his troops should be rallied for war soonish, uh, which means I can catch him um, in transit. God, I need to replace this stupid helmet. I really don't like having uh, imperial looking helmets on. I mean, I'll wear it because it's the best. Oh, there you are. There you are. Oh, my goodness. Maybe he was in a prison or something. I don't I don't know. Let's discuss our future together. Okay, so there's a 59% chance, and I have to hit both to succeed. Okay, it worked. There we are. So now I have to get uh, the blessing of Luchin. So next up, I go to find Luchin. If I could spell his name right. Near Zero Corcus. Okay. So, kind of far away, but that's alright. Because as time passes, my towns are becoming... My towns and castles are becoming more wealthy and well-built. And, uh... I'm becoming more influential. So... The generic passage of time is really no problem at all. Um, I'm going to wait until I'm married to then form Trustin into his own party. No, oh, and I just passed Ospir, who was originally uh, a nobleman that I was trying to court for uh, coming over to our side. Ospir just escaped from captivity. Alright, let's get a new feed on Luchin. Okay, he's gone north. And I'll just keep checking. Um, see if there's anything I want to buy. Nope. Sorting by price is a really quick way to, to know. A knight's kite shield would be kind of nice. Um, well, that's a pretty... I'm curious what that shield looks like. No, it doesn't actually look all that special. Knight's kite shield looks all sorts of beat up compared to my uh, iron round shield. The Highland Shields, I like because of their coverage. Eh, yeah, let me uh, just buy the... I'll start to buy Highlander Shields. Uh, as I like their coverage and, and sort of just the way they look. Okay, I will pay that amount. That's no problem. And... We'll stop by Amatatis. See if there's anything for us to buy over there, too. Do a little shopping before the wedding, you know. Wedding dress and all. Gotta look gotta look like a pretty bride. Well that's a pretty nice uh pretty nice blade there. Okay, so here are some boots that I'm definitely going to buy as well. Uh, when you're on horseback, your feet and legs tend to take Oh man, and a nasal helm. I can't afford both. Oh, you're killing me. What if I sold... Maybe there's stuff for me to sell. So I want both these things. Well, I could sell some of my Sturgeon Hunters. And afford it. Albeit barely. I didn't mean to sell all my grain. Here, let's reset. So... I, I was just literally saying the I really dislike the helmets I have. Uh, but honestly, no, I'm just going to buy the plate boots. Uh, and then trust in you can inherit those. Because the helmet's only like a point or two better. Alright, was that Luchin? 
that I just saw go north? No, serum. Okay. Nope. Not Lucian. Man, this guy's on a tour. What the heck? He is really riding. Alright, well, there's Lucon. It's too bad I don't have more troops with me, because I would definitely hit that. Not, not in a friendly way. Let's try a little bit more treating. Huh. Royal Mace. Still, I'm not sure why my uh, Rumphalia is really out of rotation. Truly, it does hurt my feelings. Ooh. I don't have enough money for that. Yeah, we're... we're we're starting to find some some pretty spicy armor now that I'm I am able to afford it and I'm regularly looking. But no, nothing I, I, I would need to save up. Alright, Luchin, you still riding hard? Yeah, I think you are. He's traveling north. We should catch him any second now though. So I don't think there's much further for him to go. We're at kind of the edge of the world. And if I was to guess, you are. Yep, Luchin's army. I think he's. Oh no, you're gonna win. I just need to wait. I can't talk to them as they're mid battle. Okay, so Tovir. Hello, Luchin. Army leader. I wish to discuss final terms of my marriage with Finnegan. Very well then. Uh, I guess I'm paying a dowry. And I'm married. I like uh, how I bartered his son with him. That seems so... heartless. So, I don't know. This is not much of a wedding celebration here, but... Um, all right, what do you what do you think of your liege? Oh, he's a, he's in a um, a formal armory, so he can't speak about that. So Finnegan, you are holding a uh, spouse of Serlin, and pretty good stats here. He would make a another capable party leader. Um, this hero is a fugitive running from the captors. Okay, so he's he's basically in transit, um, which means I can't use him as a uh, as a, a leader just yet. So let's ride home and start to put a war party together. Now that we've found our brother Trustin, got married to Finnegan, who will be raffled off to one of my patrons. So his name will change for next episode. Um, we're in a position now where. We could really, really put some forces together and not be a scrappy little, hey, please form peace kind of army, but one where we can punch above the belt a bit. And, and part of that is just making sure to invest in our uh, arms and armor, you know, our weaponry and stuff like that so that we're effective. So yeah, the stack bodkin arrows here are probably probably the weapon of choice. Um, the Highland round shields are kind of going to be the shields I'm going to use. So I'm going to buy a Highland round shield for my hubby. Where are you, uh, Finnegan? I don't even know where you are. I think he's I think he's in prison. I think he's in Chikin tier. <laughs> in in prison, <laughs> Kuzades. Imprisoned him. He's gonna get out of prison and be like, wait, wait, I'm married? What did, what did Luchin do? What the hell? It's like, yeah, you're, I, I would be upset too. If I was imprisoned, I wouldn't want to, well, I, I don't know. I did actually talk to him and he told me to go seek, uh, hey, speaking of which, now I can magically just find you without trying, Luchin. Um, he did say, go seek out my father for final, you know, um, 
you know, and, and if he agrees. So, so it's not like he's totally unaware that he got married. Like, we were engaged or whatever. I just needed the blessing. Um, I do find that funny. All right. Yes, I know. I'm, I'm addicted to checking for rumfolias. I really, really, really want to use a rumfolia. In fact, if... Uh, and I know there's some weapons that are similar to Rumphalias, like these Minavillion, but they're not the same. They're not the same. Um, if you've found a Rumphalia lately, mm, give me a lead, because I really, I don't know. Alright, Finnegan, are you still... Okay, he's in Legata now. Uh, he was released or something. I missed it on the uh, news feed over here. Um... But you don't teleport from Chekin to Legata easily, at least. So, let's go pick him up. Uh, Amatatus is under siege. Let me go ride by and see if it's going to be a close fight. Because if it is, I don't know if I'd actually do anything about it. So, it's close-ish. I think the, I think Batania will win that one as well. Wow, the Southern Empire is really going down in a blaze of, I mean, it's like the fall of Rome over here. They're just burning up. Oh, uh, no, Amatatis just got reinforced by a bunch. So, never mind. Jomaris is potentially siegeable. At 281, I'd have to put together a significant force. Um, but that's what I'm trying to do, is I want to have a significant force. Um, I'm just been riding around trying to get married. So, I mean, cut me some slack. Cut me some slack and sell me a Rumphalia already. I hate plume helmets. Just word, for, word from the wise, the little plume on the top of your head, um, very, very, very annoying, very distracting. I mean, I know it's personal preference. So there's Silas running uh, trade caravans. Uh, and then there's a hideout next to Herdegia Castle. Um, Kuzate Azurai just made peace. So let's, let's take a quick look at all of the wars. So our war with Northern Empire and Sturgia doesn't really matter. They aren't kingdoms. Kuzate at 9k, they are at war with Batania. Batania at 7k, they're at war with Kuzate and Southern Empire. Western Empire doesn't matter. Azurai, looking pretty weak at war with Valandia. Valandia, looking actually pretty weak too. And they're at war with Southern and Azurai. Southern Empire... Weakest of them all at war with Batania Valandia. And probably me soon. <laughs> but being honest, okay. So I was going to wait till nightfall to attack this. It's near Herdegia Castle, so it would benefit me to uh, clear it out. Let's manage troops. Um, give me my companions, not. And then some banner knights. Wait, I can just. Why is it letting me put 29 out of 10? Okay, it's not. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> it, did, it, didn't make, it didn't make much sense. It's like, yeah, yeah, let's just, just stack the troops in. That's actually something I see in the forums often. People are like, why can't I just have more troops? It's like, it's true. You know, if you have hundreds of troops, why only send in one? Oh, this new bow. Oh, it's just life-altering. Every shot, a headshot so far. Oh, well, total miss there. It's just proof that I'm not aimbotting, right? There it is. You can follow me. There's, what, three of them over there? Oh! You 
they're okay. Oh, don't throw that at me. This one's like bogged out. Excuse you. I don't like when my flag banner things get in the way. I know I'm just keeping all my men behind me, but like clearly Sarlin needs no help. I'll tell them to charge so they don't stand directly behind me, preventing me from being able to see. All right, I know this new bow is great, but can I make, oh, oh, yes, I can make shots that just otherwise previously would be, I wouldn't say impossible, but very, very difficult to hit. Just the missile speed, the the accuracy, the arrow drop, it's all deliciously better. I want to make... Oh, 100 meter abdomen shot to the guy sitting there. I'm sure my troops can handle the remaining four. Oh, that was a move, a strafing moving shot. That's pretty good, too. It's like me just patting myself on my back. But you know what? These aren't terrible. Okay, let's get the blade and board out for the duel. I'll just duel the... Well, he is a pretty significant force of men. But no, I'll duel. I'm not afraid of that. Bye-bye, <laughs> Mountain Boss. All right, so Herdage Castle should be a little happier with me. Uh, I did gain some influence. And... Why is it telling me... Oh, someone has a focus point or something. Val, you are going to be well built. And then the uh, Herdage Castle should be a little happier that I cleared a bandit camp out. Okay. Soon, when a lot of my new sort of like tax buildings train troops, extort. Extortion by deserters. So there is a lot of relation I could build up. the 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 thing is, I don't really care to build up relations with um with uh, anyone that doesn't offer me Valandian troops. I I honestly think it's a kind of waste of my time. But this guy has such a negative. Yeah, he has such a negative opinion of me. He's not even going to be able to offer me up any quests. So screw you, guy. All right, hubby. This is the first time I'm seeing you in kind of some time. What's uh? You are wait. How, actually, where are you? Are you in the bar? I ransom my prisoners. Luch, are you last seen the Legata? Sarlin. Your friends with Fennigan, last seen again. Okay, so he's here. Oh yeah, here he is in the keep. All right, let's talk to him. Okay, I told him to join my party. So if I check party here, here he is. Put him on the four that everyone else is. I think he needs a horse. Let's check his inventory. So, he's got... Okay, his shoulder straps suck. Um... Oh my god. He came with a rumfalia? Oh, you're the best husband ever. I've been looking for that thing for so long. It was hurting my soul. 
I bought him a Highland Round Shield as a wedding present, but but he he bought me a Rumphalia. Oh man, what ah, uh, just yeah, I'm very 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 happy. So for all of you that don't know, uh, the Rumphalia here is a weapon I just so happened to use in um my Twitch series when I was learning how to play this game. And it was an ongoing joke of me being the Reaper because it is, I'll be, I'll be blunt. I'll be very, very honest. It is a crazy effective weapon. Just so powerful. Um, all right. So yeah. And, and long story short, I love it. It, it, it is OP, but like, whatever, like who cares if it's OP, if you're having fun, have fun, right? And I've been looking for Rumphalias this whole dang time. Um, and obviously, to no avail. And then I get married, and he has it on his back. As what could only be a wedding present. You know, I'm going to celebrate with a tournament fight. Like old times. Uh... But, uh, yeah, next battle I get into, especially if it's a field battle and not a castle siege, you will now, you will then know what the Rumphalia means to me. Also, I think, uh, Talon, my patron, wanted to do a bit of arena fight so that he could have a chance to best me. But, uh, actually, so far, he hasn't been knocked out. Where are you, Talon? Is it? No, that's not Talon. Oh, that's Talon. Talon actually landing the only hit that I took so far. Alright, Talon. Here's the thing, buddy. You're going down. Yep. So, there it is. It was an ongoing joke that he wanted to fight me in the arena. But you lost fair and square. Who needs teammates, right? Oh, here he is again. Another 1v1. Your combat stats have been improving. But I'll put you out of your misery now. Oh, it's going to be Talon and I for the final battle. That is uh, poetic justice right there. Well, you know, providing I beat Halgard Bitter Drop, Draft, whatever your name is. You know, I can probably just punch you unconscious. How about I do that? You're so not a threat to me. I punch you unconscious. All right, Talon. So, you had three rounds to fight me. You lost in the first. You lost in the second. And here's the final round. And you didn't land a hit. Not a hit. So sorry, buddy. Not meant to be. But you know what it will do? Those reinforced padded mittens, if they're better for you, uh, I'll give them to you. I think you earned them after that fight. So let's see. They are worse. <laughs> what about for Finnegan? Uh, they are identical, but um, heavier. So Finnegan here, I did mention, needs a horse. He brought me a Rumphalia, so let's give him a Valandian Courser. Uh, and let's then go buy him a saddle. I'm going to buy myself a really nice saddle. And then give Finnegan the uh, the other saddle. Um, so he has a noble longbow that I don't believe he's going to be able to use on horseback. 
unless, of course, he's got... Uh, I'm not sure if the perk... I'd have to Google if the perk works. Um, but there is a perk to be able to use non-horseback bows on horseback. He certainly has the skills for it. Uh, mounted archer can use any bow on horseback. So hypothetically, if this perk works, he should be able to, to wield his noble longbow on horseback. Um, you know what I could do is... I think I too have that perk. Yes, I too have that perk. So what I will do is grab his bow. Because honestly, it's just better than the one I have. I know, I'm like taking all of his equipment. Give myself the, no, give myself the noble longbow. And then uh, give him the step uh, recurve. So I'll know immediately right now fighting these looters uh, if it doesn't work. And that, that will be the end of this episode. But but you also, if I get these looters, yeah. Uh, you will see the power of the Rumfalia. Oh, I found one. And my husband had it. So it looks like a giant reaper scythe, as you can see. Uh, no. The perk does not work. I cannot change weapons to my bow. Two hundred sixty-eight damage. So this Reaper Blade has extremely long range and extremely high damage. It is extraordinarily good at murdering other kings and queens, uh, nobles, etc. Without much ease or without much trouble. As you can see, I'm just reaping them. And it doesn't have a thrust, which is why it's so powerful. Most of the most of the pole arms, when they uh, thrust, the thrust damage is a lot less than their swing damage. The Rumphalia's power comes from the fact that it doesn't thrust at all. It's a reaping blade. It just swings, and its swing damage is ridiculously powerful. Um, so the Noble Longbow, I can. Uh, hold in reserve for when I'm sieging castles, and I don't necessarily need a, um, you know, I won't be on horseback. Uh, the Reaper Rumfalia is also, truth be told, pretty terrible at uh, castle battles because the it's unwieldy, and the due to its size, it's just very ineffective at close quarters. But um, what an exciting episode. I'm so glad to now be the Reaper Queen um, and then being married and getting the weapon I had been searching for for so many episodes from my husband is just perfect. If you have any feedback for me, do drop me a line in the comments below. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all next episode. Adios, friends.